One. Going to work. My job is a long distance from my home, almost 50 miles away. I have to wake up early every morning, as I'm always in a rush. There's never enough time for a relaxed breakfast. At exactly 6 a.m., I get into my car and start the long drive. I usually like driving on the highway more than in the city. During the morning rush hour, though, it's not very enjoyable. The heavy traffic is a little bit annoying. So I always listen to my favorite classical music CDs in the car, Chopin, Mozart, and Bach. That cheers me up a lot. My job is a long distance from my home. My job is a long distance from my home. My job is a long distance from my home. Almost 50 miles away. Almost 50 miles away. Almost 50 miles away. I have to wake up early every morning. I have to wake up early every morning. I have to wake up early every morning. I'm always in a rush. I'm always in a rush. I'm always in a rush. There's never enough time for a relaxed breakfast. There's never enough time for a relaxed breakfast. There's never enough time for a relaxed breakfast. At exactly 6 a.m., I get into my car and start the long drive. At exactly 6 a.m., I get into my car and start the long drive. At exactly 6 a.m., I get into my car and start the long drive. I usually like driving on the highway more than in the city. I usually like driving on the highway more than in the city. I usually like driving on the highway more than in the city. During the morning rush hour, though, it's not very enjoyable. During the morning rush hour, though, it's not very enjoyable. During the morning rush hour, though, it's not very enjoyable. The heavy traffic is a little bit annoying. The heavy traffic is a little bit annoying. The heavy traffic is a little bit annoying. So I always listen to my favorite classical music CDs in the car, Chopin, Mozart, and Bach. So I always listen to my favorite classical music CDs in the car, Chopin, Mozart, and Bach.
so I always listen to my favorite classical music CDs in the car, Chopin, Mozart, and Bach. That cheers me up a lot. That cheers me up a lot. That cheers me up a lot. Two. Serena is a young teacher at a big high school in London, England, and she teaches German. But her parents still live in her homeland, Canada. In London, she has a small apartment, but it is so old. She decides to buy a new one near school. She is now looking for that. Her friend says there are no empty houses in the neighborhood. But he knows three empty houses for Serena to choose. The first house is big, with four bedrooms on Park Road. It is very convenient, but this is also the most expensive. There is also another apartment on Park Road, and it is the cheapest. It is smaller than the other two, but it is the newest. It has got a lovely bedroom, an amazing kitchen, a beautiful living room, and a modern bathroom. The last one at Edlin Road is big, but there too no kitchen in that house. Afterwards, Serena thinks the smallest house is also the most suitable for her. Repeat after me. Serena is a young teacher at a big high school in London, England, and she teaches German. Serena is a young teacher at a big high school in London, England, and she teaches German. Serena is a young teacher at a big high school in London, England, and she teaches German. But her parents still live in her homeland, Canada. But her parents still live in her homeland, Canada. But her parents still live in her homeland, Canada. In London, she has a small apartment, but it is so old. In London, she has a small apartment, but it is so old. In London, she has a small apartment, but it is so old. She decides to buy a new one near school. She decides to buy a new one near school. She decides to buy a new one near school. She is now looking for that. She is now looking for that. She is now looking for that. Her friend says there are no empty houses in the neighborhood. Her friend says there are no empty houses in the neighborhood. Her friend says there are no empty houses in the neighborhood. But he knows three empty houses for Serena to choose. But he knows three empty houses for Serena to choose. But he knows three empty houses for Serena to choose.
The first house is big, with four bedrooms, on Park Road. The first house is big, with four bedrooms, on Park Road. The first house is big, with four bedrooms, on Park Road. It is very convenient, but this is also the most expensive. It is very convenient, but this is also the most expensive. It is very convenient, but this is also the most expensive. There is also another apartment on Park Road, and it is the cheapest. There is also another apartment on Park Road, and it is the cheapest. There is also another apartment on Park Road, and it is the cheapest. It is smaller than the other two, but it is the newest. It is smaller than the other two, but it is the newest. It is smaller than the other two, but it is the newest. It has got a lovely bedroom, an amazing kitchen, a beautiful living room, and a modern bathroom. It has got a lovely bedroom, an amazing kitchen, a beautiful living room, and a modern bathroom. It has got a lovely bedroom, an amazing kitchen, a beautiful living room, and a modern bathroom. The last one at Edlin Road is big, but there too no kitchen in that house. The last one at Edlin Road is big, but there too no kitchen in that house. The last one at Edlin Road is big, but there too no kitchen in that house. Afterwards, Serena thinks the smallest house is also the most suitable for her. Afterwards, Serena thinks the smallest house is also the most suitable for her. Afterwards, Serena thinks the smallest house is also the most suitable for her. Three. I wish every day was a Sunday. This day comes after a long wait of six days. Sunday comes as a boon especially for students. It is such a relief from hurried mornings of weekdays. I get up late on a Sunday morning and lays around. My mother also gives me a relaxation in the early to bed and early to rise schedule. She prepares any of my favorite dish for the special Sunday breakfast. It is also a day when all members of my family spend quality time with each other. I get to play with my friends and we often end up playing cricket as it is the favorite game of most of us. Repeat after me. I wish every day was a Sunday. I wish every day was a Sunday. I wish every day was a Sunday.
This day comes after a long wait of six days. This day comes after a long wait of six days. This day comes after a long wait of six days. Sunday comes as a boon especially for students. Sunday comes as a boon especially for students. Sunday comes as a boon especially for students. It is such a relief from hurried mornings of weekdays. It is such a relief from hurried mornings of weekdays. It is such a relief from hurried mornings of weekdays. I get up late on a Sunday morning and lays around. I get up late on a Sunday morning and lays around. I get up late on a Sunday morning and lays around. My mother also gives me a relaxation in the early to bed and early to rise schedule. My mother also gives me a relaxation in the early to bed and early to rise schedule. My mother also gives me a relaxation in the early to bed and early to rise schedule. She prepares any of my favorite dish for the special Sunday breakfast. She prepares any of my favorite dish for the special Sunday breakfast. She prepares any of my favorite dish for the special Sunday breakfast. It is also a day when all members of my family spend quality time with each other. It is also a day when all members of my family spend quality time with each other. It is also a day when all members of my family spend quality time with each other. I get to play with my friends. I get to play with my friends. I get to play with my friends. And we often end up playing cricket. And we often end up playing cricket. And we often end up playing cricket. It is the favorite game of most of us. It is the favorite game of most of us. It is the favorite game of most of us. Four. 
the tree. Mother Earth has given us many gifts. One of them is trees. Trees are very important to us. Many of our tribes live inside forests which have trees. Trees provide us timber to make furniture. Wild animals depend on trees for food and shelter. Trees help to prevent soil erosion and floods. They give out oxygen and make the earth clean and cool. Many products such as paper, gum, rubber etc. are obtained from trees. Trees reduce pollution and increase rain. Birds make their nests on trees. So friends, save trees by not cutting them and make them happy. Mother Earth has given us many gifts. One of them is trees. Mother Earth has given us many gifts. One of them is trees. Mother Earth has given us many gifts. One of them is trees. Trees are very important to us. Trees are very important to us. Trees are very important to us. Many of our tribes live inside forests which have trees. Many of our tribes live inside forests which have trees. Many of our tribes live inside forests which have trees. Trees provide us timber to make furniture. Trees provide us timber to make furniture. Trees provide us timber to make furniture. Wild animals depend on trees for food and shelter. Wild animals depend on trees for food and shelter. Wild animals depend on trees for food and shelter. Trees help to prevent soil erosion and floods. Trees help to prevent soil erosion and floods. Trees help to prevent soil erosion and floods. They give out oxygen and make the earth clean and cool. They give out oxygen and make the earth clean and cool.
They give out oxygen and make the earth clean and cool. Many products such as paper, gum, rubber etc. are obtained from trees. Many products such as paper, gum, rubber etc. are obtained from trees. Many products such as paper, gum, rubber etc. are obtained from trees. Trees reduce pollution and increase rain. Trees reduce pollution and increase rain. Trees reduce pollution and increase rain. Birds make their nests on trees. Birds make their nests on trees. Birds make their nests on trees. So friends, save trees by not cutting them and make them happy. So friends, save trees by not cutting them and make them happy. So friends, save trees by not cutting them and make them happy. So friends, save trees by not cutting them and make them happy. Five. Watch the weather. Most people plan their vacations very carefully. They think a lot about plane tickets, passports, and hotel reservations, but they often forget about one important thing, the weather. You should learn about the right time to visit your vacation spot. Here is some information to help you plan your next vacation. Italy. The weather is sunny all year, but it's sometimes cold in winter. April and May are warm and beautiful. From June to September, it's very hot. Australia Summer here is from December to April. It sometimes rains, but the weather is usually very good. In winter, it snows a little in some places, but most of Australia isn't very cold. Hong Kong the weather is hot and very humid here a lot of the year. In July and August, it's sometimes very windy and there are bad storms. October and November are warm and not so humid, but in December and January, it gets very chilly sometimes. Chile the weather is sunny and dry a lot of the year in the capital, Santiago. In summer, it's hot and dry. There is some rain in spring and fall, 
The winter is not very cold. India It's not a good idea to visit India between June and September because there's a lot of rain everywhere. From November to April, after the rainy season, the weather is nice and cool. In April and May, it often gets very hot. Repeat after me. Watch the weather. Watch the weather. Watch the weather. Most people plan their vacations very carefully. Most people plan their vacations very carefully. Most people plan their vacations very carefully. They think a lot about plane tickets, passports, and hotel reservations. They think a lot about plane tickets, passports, and hotel reservations. They think a lot about plane tickets, passports, and hotel reservations. But they often forget about one important thing, the weather. But they often forget about one important thing, the weather. But they often forget about one important thing, the weather. You should learn about the right time to visit your vacation spot. You should learn about the right time to visit your vacation spot. You should learn about the right time to visit your vacation spot. Here is some information to help you plan your next vacation. Here is some information to help you plan your next vacation. Here is some information to help you plan your next vacation. Italy. The weather is sunny all year, but it's sometimes cold in winter. Italy. The weather is sunny all year, but it's sometimes cold in winter. Italy. The weather is sunny all year, but it's sometimes cold in winter. April and May are warm and beautiful. From June to September, it's very hot. April and May are warm and beautiful. From June to September, it's very hot. April and May are warm and beautiful. From June to September, it's very hot. Australia. Summer here is from December to April. Australia. Summer here is from December to April. Australia. Summer here is from December to April. It sometimes rains, but the weather is usually very good. It sometimes rains, but the weather is usually very good. It sometimes rains, but the weather is usually very good.
In winter, it snows a little in some places, but most of Australia isn't very cold. In winter, it snows a little in some places, but most of Australia isn't very cold. In winter, it snows a little in some places, but most of Australia isn't very cold. Hong Kong The weather is hot and very humid here a lot of the year. Hong Kong The weather is hot and very humid here a lot of the year. Hong Kong The weather is hot and very humid here a lot of the year. In July and August it's sometimes very windy and there are bad storms. In July and August, it's sometimes very windy and there are bad storms. In July and August, it's sometimes very windy and there are bad storms. October and November are warm and not so humid. But in December and January, it gets very chilly sometimes. October and November are warm and not so humid. But in December and January, it gets very chilly sometimes. October and November are warm and not so humid. But in December and January, it gets very chilly sometimes. Chile The weather is sunny and dry a lot of the year in the capital, Santiago. Chile The weather is sunny and dry a lot of the year in the capital, Santiago. Chile The weather is sunny and dry a lot of the year in the capital, Santiago. In summer, it's hot and dry. There is some rain in spring and fall. The winter is not very cold. In summer, it's hot and dry. There is some rain in spring and fall. The winter is not very cold. In summer, it's hot and dry. There is some rain in spring and fall. The winter is not very cold. India it's not a good idea to visit India between June and September because there's a lot of rain everywhere. India 
It's not a good idea to visit India between June and September because there's a lot of rain everywhere. India It's not a good idea to visit India between June and September because there's a lot of rain everywhere. From November to April, after the rainy season, the weather is nice and cool. In April and May, it often gets very hot. From November to April, after the rainy season, the weather is nice and cool. In April and May, it often gets very hot. From November to April, after the rainy season, the weather is nice and cool. In April and May, it often gets very hot. Six. Wheels to cut. 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 People use wheels to cut things. 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 A round metal saw is very sharp. 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 The saw uses electricity to turn very fast. 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 It can cut many things. 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 This round saw can cut wood. This round saw can cut wood. This round saw can cut wood. This round saw 
can cut wood. This round saw can cut wood. This round saw can cut wood. Wheels can cut food too. 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 You can push this cutter on a pizza. 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 The metal wheel turns and it cuts the pizza. The metal wheel turns and it cuts the pizza. The metal wheel turns and it cuts the pizza. The metal wheel turns and it cuts the pizza. The metal wheel turns and it cuts the pizza. The metal wheel turns and it cuts the pizza. This combine harvester has wheels to move and wheels to cut. This combine harvester has wheels to move and wheels to cut. This combine harvester has wheels to move and wheels to cut. This combine harvester has wheels to move and wheels to cut. This combine harvester has wheels to move and wheels to cut. This combine harvester has wheels to move and wheels to cut. The metal wheels are very sharp and they turn fast. The metal wheels are very sharp and they turn fast. The metal wheels are very sharp and they turn fast. The metal wheels are very sharp and they turn fast. The metal wheels are very sharp and they turn fast. The metal wheels are very sharp and they turn fast. The combine harvester moves and the metal wheels cut the wheat. The combine harvester moves and the metal wheels cut the wheat. The combine harvester moves and the metal wheels cut the wheat. The combine harvester moves and the metal wheels cut the wheat. The combine harvester moves and the metal wheels cut the wheat. The combine harvester moves and the metal wheels cut the wheat. Seven. Whose language? Whose culture? Language and culture are closely connected. So when you acquire a second language, do you acquire that culture, too? English is the most widely spoken second language in the world. Experts estimate that more than 1.5 billion speak at least some English. That's almost 25% of the world's population. However, 
only about 350 to 400 million people speak it as their native or first language. So what about all of those other people who also speak English? Have they acquired American or British culture along with the language? The answer is no. At least, that is the answer for most of them. Most of those 1.5 billion people do not speak to people in the United States, Canada, or Australia very often, or perhaps at all. Instead, it is more common for these non-native speakers to use English to speak to one another. For example, a businessman from Thailand may use English to speak to an engineer from Kuwait, or on a flight from Sao Paulo, a passenger from Brazil might speak English and make small talk to a French passenger in the next seat. For international professionals, using English is the best way to overcome the language barrier when they travel or work in another country. For them, English is a tool for communication. It is not connected to any culture. Some English speakers have opportunities to speak English in their own country. Although English is spoken as a first language in just a few countries, it is widely spoken as a second language in many others. For example, in Uganda, Singapore, India, and Pakistan. In these countries where many different native languages are spoken, people often use English with one another. Each of these countries has its own variety of English. These varieties are a bit different from the English of native speakers. They reflect the place and the culture where people speak them. Perhaps it is more appropriate for us to call English a global language. This is especially obvious when you look at the Internet, where more than half of all websites are in English. English may not belong to any country or culture anymore. Instead, it is a language that the whole world shares and belongs to many different cultures. Repeat after me. Language and culture are closely connected. Language and culture are closely connected. Language and culture are closely connected. So when you acquire a second language, do you acquire that culture, too? So when you acquire a second language, do you acquire that culture, too? So when you acquire a second language, do you acquire that culture, too? English is the most widely spoken second language in the world. English is the most widely spoken second language in the world. English is the most widely spoken second language in the world. Experts estimate that more than 1.5 billion speak at least some English. Experts estimate that more than 1.5 billion speak at least some English. Experts estimate that more than 1.5 billion speak at least some English.
That's almost 25% of the world's population. That's almost 25% of the world's population. That's almost 25% of the world's population. However, only about 350 to 400 million people speak it as their native or first language. However, only about 350 to 400 million people speak it as their native or first language. However, only about 350 to 400 million people speak it as their native or first language. So what about all of those other people who also speak English? So what about all of those other people who also speak English? So what about all of those other people who also speak English? Have they acquired American or British culture along with the language? Have they acquired American or British culture along with the language? Have they acquired American or British culture along with the language? The answer is no. At least, that is the answer for most of them. The answer is no. At least, that is the answer for most of them. The answer is no. At least, that is the answer for most of them. Most of those 1.5 billion people do not speak to people in the United States, Canada, or Australia very often, or perhaps at all. Most of those 1.5 billion people do not speak to people in the United States, Canada, or Australia very often, or perhaps at all. Most of those 1.5 billion people do not speak to people in the United States, Canada, or Australia very often, or perhaps at all. Instead, it is more common for these non-native speakers to use English to speak to one another
Instead, it is more common for these non-native speakers to use English to speak to one another. Instead, it is more common for these non-native speakers to use English to speak to one another. For example, a businessman from Thailand may use English to speak to an engineer from Kuwait. For example, a businessman from Thailand may use English to speak to an engineer from Kuwait. For example, a businessman from Thailand may use English to speak to an engineer from Kuwait. Or, on a flight from Sao Paulo, a passenger from Brazil might speak English and make small talk to a French passenger in the next seat. Or, on a flight from Sao Paulo, a passenger from Brazil might speak English and make small talk to a French passenger in the next seat. Or, on a flight from Sao Paulo, a passenger from Brazil might speak English and make small talk to a French passenger in the next seat. For international professionals, for international professionals, For international professional, using English is the best way to overcome the language barrier when they travel or work in another country. Using English is the best way to overcome the language barrier when they travel or work in another country. Using English is the best way to overcome the language barrier when they travel or work in another country. For them, English is a tool for communication. For them, English is a tool for communication. For them, English is a tool for communication. It is not connected to any culture. It is not connected to any culture.
it is not connected to any culture. Some English speakers have opportunities to speak English in their own country. Some English speakers have opportunities to speak English in their own country. Some English speakers have opportunities to speak English in their own country. Although English is spoken as a first language in just a few countries, Although English is spoken as a first language in just a few countries, although English is spoken as a first language in just a few countries, it is widely spoken as a second language in many others. It is widely spoken as a second language in many others. It is widely spoken as a second language in many others. For example, in Uganda, Singapore, India, and Pakistan. For example, in Uganda, Singapore, India, and Pakistan. For example, in Uganda, Singapore, India, and Pakistan. In these countries where many different native languages are spoken, in these countries where many different native languages are spoken, in these countries where many different native languages are spoken, People often use English with one another. People often use English with one another. People often use English with one another. Each of these countries has its own variety of English. Each of these countries has its own variety of English. Each of these countries has its own variety of English. These varieties are a bit different from the English of native speakers. These varieties are a bit different from the English of native speakers. These varieties are a bit different from the English of native speakers. They reflect the place and the culture where people speak them.
They reflect the place and the culture where people speak them. They reflect the place and the culture where people speak them. Perhaps it is more appropriate for us to call English a global language. Perhaps it is more appropriate for us to call English a global language. Perhaps it is more appropriate for us to call English a global language. This is especially obvious when you look at the Internet. This is especially obvious when you look at the Internet. This is especially obvious when you look at the Internet. Where more than half of all websites are in English. Where more than half of all websites are in English. Where more than half of all websites are in English. English may not belong to any country or culture anymore. English may not belong to any country or culture anymore. English may not belong to any country or culture anymore. Instead, it is a language that the whole world shares. Instead, it is a language that the whole world shares. Instead, it is a language that the whole world shares. And belongs to many different cultures. And belongs to many different cultures. And belongs to many different cultures. Eight. I have many friends at my school. More than a dozen friends I have. Nick and Bob are my close friends. They are my classmates. Both of them are very helpful in my studies. Nick always happens to be a first boy in the class. He really helps me in understanding lessons. He also helps me in doing homework. Besides, he sometimes spends for me in the school canteen. He likes me, and I like him too. 
Bob is my second best friend. He helps in my study of English. Sometimes, Bob comes to my house. He spends a few hours in talking about our school. He is an honest boy. I like him very much. He is good at playing football. He encourages everyone to play. Repeat after me. I have many friends at my school. I have many friends at my school. I have many friends at my school. More than a dozen friends I have. Nick and Bob are my close friends. More than a dozen friends I have. Nick and Bob are my close friends. More than a dozen friends I have. Nick and Bob are my close friends. They are my classmates. They are my classmates. They are my classmates. Both of them are very helpful in my studies. Both of them are very helpful in my studies. Both of them are very helpful in my studies. Nick always happens to be a first boy in the class. Nick always happens to be a first boy in the class. Nick always happens to be a first boy in the class. He really helps me in understanding lessons. He really helps me in understanding lessons. He really helps me in understanding lessons. He also helps me in doing homework. He also helps me in doing homework. He also helps me in doing homework. Besides, he sometimes spends for me in the school canteen. Besides, he sometimes spends for me in the school canteen. Besides, he sometimes spends for me in the school canteen. He likes me, and I like him too. He 
He likes me, and I like him too. He likes me, and I like him too. Bob is my second best friend. Bob is my second best friend. Bob is my second best friend. He helps in my study of English. He helps in my study of English. He helps in my study of English. Sometimes, Bob comes to my house. Sometimes, Bob comes to my house. Sometimes, Bob comes to my house. He spends a few hours in talking about our school. He spends a few hours in talking about our school. He spends a few hours in talking about our school. He is an honest boy. He is an honest boy. He is an honest boy. I like him very much. I like him very much. I like him very much. He is good at playing football. He is good at playing football. He is good at playing football. He encourages everyone to play. He encourages everyone to play. He encourages everyone to play. I have many friends at my school. More than a dozen friends I have. Nick and Bob are my close friends. They are my classmates. Both of them are very helpful in my studies. Nick always happens to be a first boy in the class. He really helps me in understanding lessons. He also helps me in doing homework. Besides, he sometimes spends for me in the school canteen. He likes me, and I like him too. Bob is my second best friend. He helps in my study of English. 
Sometimes, Bob comes to my house. He spends a few hours in talking about our school. He is an honest boy. I like him very much. He is good at playing football. He encourages everyone to play. Repeat after me. I have many friends at my school. I have many friends at my school. I have many friends at my school. More than a dozen friends I have. Nick and Bob are my close friends. More than a dozen friends I have. Nick and Bob are my close friends. More than a dozen friends I have. Nick and Bob are my close friends. They are my classmates. They are my classmates. They are my classmates. Both of them are very helpful in my studies. Both of them are very helpful in my studies. Both of them are very helpful in my studies. Nick always happens to be a first boy in the class. Nick always happens to be a first boy in the class. Nick always happens to be a first boy in the class. He really helps me in understanding lessons. He really helps me in understanding lessons. He really helps me in understanding lessons. He also helps me in doing homework. He also helps me in doing homework. He also helps me in doing homework. Besides, he sometimes spends for me in the school canteen. Besides, he sometimes spends for me in the school canteen. Besides, he sometimes spends for me in the school canteen. He likes me, and I like him too. He likes me, and I like him too.
He likes me, and I like him too. Bob is my second best friend. Bob is my second best friend. Bob is my second best friend. He helps in my study of English. He helps in my study of English. He helps in my study of English. Sometimes, Bob comes to my house. Sometimes, Bob comes to my house. Sometimes, Bob comes to my house. He spends a few hours in talking about our school. He spends a few hours in talking about our school. He spends a few hours in talking about our school. He is an honest boy. He is an honest boy. He is an honest boy. I like him very much. I like him very much. I like him very much. He is good at playing football. He is good at playing football. He is good at playing football. He encourages everyone to play. He encourages everyone to play. He encourages everyone to play.